Hello there. I'm going to show you my favorite science curriculum for kids who are in about grades four, five, six, kind of in that range. I'm always flexible when it comes to grade levels, so somewhere in the later elementary years. And so I have a video on kind of that K through three science ideas and then what we do uh, in our home for grade six and on. And so this is, like I said, for that kind of four or five approximate grade range. Um, and what we do, it's very simple, but we really like the science textbooks from Abeka. And um, the reason I like them is because, well, several reasons, but first of all, I really like how they cover a wide variety of science topics. I think, you know, by the kid, by the time kids are in that, you know, fourth grade range, it's nice to kind of give an overview of a lot of topics. And so this does it really nicely. Um, so for example, this is the fourth grade book just, and they're all structured very much the same. And so I thought this was a good one to show. But um, so topics that they go over are um, insects, plants, birds, matter, so like water, air, weather, energy, sound and hearing, geology, planet Earth, oceanography, wonders of the sea, astronomy, um, and yeah, so it goes all over those in, you know, each chapter has a different focus, and they are a really nicely done with the, let me see and give an example here. I like the fact that there are nice pictures uh, throughout them, and it's a nice amount of information. So typically we would read, you know, a couple pages in a day. And this is something that I want my kids to do completely independently. And so that kind of helps guide what book I pick. Um, I, of course, you're always really gung-ho with your oldest child. <laughs> Poor oldest child but anyway so my daughter like in third grade she did the third grade a Becca book in fourth grade she did the fourth one and and so forth um, until sixth grade but I've decided um, upon reflection that there really is a ton of information in these books and so for my son he is going into fourth grade in the fall and I got the third grade science a Becca book for him to do because through experience, I have learned that when you're not hitting at their peak reading level, they really are going to absorb a lot more information and it's going to be more enjoyable. So I, because of the quality and quantity of information, I would almost suggest whatever grade your child is in, going a grade down. So, you know, for example, if they're in fifth grade, I think the fourth grade book is spot on for them. And it's not because your child is behind, it's just they're going to be able to t enjoy it more because it's not going to be such a struggle to read it. So, uh, like I said, this is something that they do independently, which is also another reason to go perhaps down a grade level. And then they read it and um, there are often, as you can see here, there are little comprehension questions um, at the end of different sections. And so while I expect them to read it independently, I like to make sure that they're getting the information. And so I do recommend getting the answer key if you think you want your child to do the comprehension questions. And the answer key is just only for the parents, but it'll give you, you know, the chapter and the page and just the information. So if you're not reading it along with them, um, it's a nice, easy way, instead of flipping back through the book to see if they're getting what they are reading. And if they're not, it's okay, but it's a jumping off point to talk about it and help them maybe with some of the words they didn't know. So I think this is worth the few dollars that it is to have. The other thing that I like to purchase when I'm using a Becca for my kids' science is, I believe they have a book on test and quizzes, and I don't do that one, but I do get the activity book to go along with it. And I do not do, or do not have my child do every single page in here, but when they're starting at in, you know, about grade 
three or four, four is my recommendation. Um, at this point, we don't, we're not huge on worksheets. We haven't done a lot of worksheets. So it's a nice opportunity to get acquainted with a few worksheets. And they, um, so I just pick the ones that I like and that are relevant. And it's just, you know, kind of good as they're reading nonfiction on their own and just to give them some exposure to worksheets and you know, reading the directions and maybe doing a multiple choice or labeling. You know, I think these are nice where they have read about it and then they do the labeling. And then for this, I also think it's nice to get the activity book key for the parents because then if you don't remember all the parts of the bean seed, you can quickly look it up to help them. So I certainly don't think you have to get these. You could just get the book and read it and talk about what they've read and that could be plenty, but we don't do a lot of worksheets, so this was a nice way to do a few worksheets, but not too many. So uh, to kind of wrap it all up here, I really like the ABECA books. I recommend them, uh, you know, for the grades that I talked about, you know, four, five, six, three, four, five, somewhere in there, depending on your child. And um, I think they're a great way to give a nice overview of science topics. And, um, you know, if something gets to be too much, then just skip it and go on to the next section. I remember we hit, you know, in one of the books, my daughter hit something on engines and it had like pistons and torque and I, and she's like, mom, this isn't interesting. And for the most part, she had liked these. So I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. And I started reading it. I was like, oh my gosh, that is not interesting to me either. So we skipped that chapter and just moved on. So make sure you have the freedom to do that as well. And um, the last thing I wanted to mention is that also we have done mystery science at the same time as we've done these, not every year, but sometimes. And so what has been really fun for us, um, I mentioned it in my previous video, but Mystery Science is a subscription and they have online videos and lessons and experiments that you can do. And so it has been really handy when they're doing the reading, let's say they're on weather, and then often we would go to our Mystery Dub, Dub subscription and do whatever the unit and lesson is on weather. So you certainly won't have to, but if you're looking to add some more hands-on things to it, they go really well together. It's a nice compliment. The activities in Mystery Dub are, or sorry, Mystery Science are really great. And even if we don't do every experiment, you can watch on the video uh, the experiment and the results and that can be just as beneficial. So that kind of sums up how we cover science and it really gives kids a great foundation. And I also think for those later elementary years, it's great to give them the opportunity to read good nonfiction. And so that kind of, it's a double purpose as well. So that is my thoughts on the ABECA science.